So this is a great time for another edition of Ask Ellen. And Jamie wants to know, why are ice storms so difficult to forecast? Well, they are difficult to forecast for many reasons. So I want to go ahead and start off with uh, what we're seeing in terms of freezing rain. As a forecaster, there's nothing more difficult to forecast than freezing rain. We like to liken it to a tightrope walker. So if we have our tightrope walker and he continues exactly where he's supposed to go, not deviating left or right, it will turn out as freezing rain or an ice storm. But if it falls just to one side, like the warm side, it'll turn into just rain. And if it falls to the cold side, it'll turn to sleet. So in order for freezing rain to materialize, we have to have these particles that follow exactly where they're supposed to go in the atmosphere without too many wobbles left or right. So that's kind of the simplistic way of putting it. Now let's dive into a few more of the details. With even the most uh, convincing ice storms, the forecast track could be perfect, the timing could be perfect for it to materialize, but if on the way from the cloud to the ground, our raindrop does not encounter the right conditions in that shallow layer of air, it can ruin everything. So let's start with just a raindrop. If we have a raindrop and it falls and it rolls through just warm air, it's gonna make it from cloud to ground as rain. Freezing rain is when we have a raindrop that encounters a really shallow air area of cold air. That's when it flash freezes at the surface. But if we have a raindrop that encounters too much cold air, it turns into an ice crystal or sleet. Those you can hear pelting the ground. And then of course, if it's just cold the entire way down, it's a snowflake, right? So again, if you have this particle that's traveling down and it accidentally falls into too much warm air, it's going to fall as rain. Too much cold air, it's going to turn to sleet. And those margins are so narrow. So this wedge of warm and cold air is going to take shape over West Michigan. We're watching it heavily and right now it looks like the best chance, the most likely area for heavy freezing rain is exactly where the ice storm is. But that's why it's so tricky, Michelle. Yeah, yeah. and more to come on that. We know yeah. you guys are working hard. Thank you, Ellen. And if you have a question that you would like to ask Ellen, you can send it to the 7 at woodtv.com.